So pag uh, malaking nagbabantay sa amin, medyo naiiwan niya pag nag-try siya. So, sinabi niya na kailangan siguro mamatch up ako sa kanya pag nasa labas. Then pag sa loob siguro, may, may tulong sa mga teammates ko. There's no question that Johnny is a better player than me. Uh, kasi... Um, alam naman natin na talented si Johnny, but it's not between Johnny and me, it's um, San Miguel against Alaska. And I don't care kung if he outplays me in Game 7, as long as uh, San Miguel outplays Alaska. Kung kinakailangan daling ko yung team, uh, right from the start, para ma-feel nila na nandito kami. I mean, labang kami all the way. Kailangan siguro ako yung, ako yung key na uh, mag-start para sumunod sila sa akin. Sana yung intensity ng paglalaro bumalik sa amin at saka yung mga kasama ko na huwag sanang ano yung hindi nagagamit um, ano dapat nakahanda pa natin. Sino yung may gusto? Mas, uh, mas uh, hunger sa title. No? Uh, what in most siguro. Uh, and desire and you know siguro yung mga focus na pan-championships talagang doon malalaman sila mga lalaman. Kung wala man kami experience sa championship kinalampakita namin na mas uh, gutom kami sa kanila. Boils down sa kung sino talaga yung may gusto sa manalo. Mm, magdadala na nga lang kung sino talaga ang gustong manalo. This game is all about his character and, and keeping your poise and uh, um, going through all the things you need to do without uh, um, getting, getting too excited about it, uh, getting reckless. You don't want to get reckless in a game like this. You want to be under control. The only way we can beat Alaska is for us to play well and for them to play just fair. If we both play well, Alaska's going to win. They're, they're just better than we are. So uh, if they play well, we're in trouble. Hindi pa ho niya ng pila para sa presinto sa Mayo A11. Ito ho ang pila dito sa labas ng Araneta Coliseum. May mga taong gustong makapasok at manood ng ating Game 7 ng McDonald's PB All Filipino Cup. Sila may kanilang mga napupusuan o napipisil na mananalo. Yung mga PBA players, kapag hindi sila nakapaglaro dito, nanonood sila. At meron silang mga teams na mga napupusuan nila o napipisil na mananalo. Sino-sino ang gustong manalo ng ating mga PBA superstars? These are the two best teams in the league right now. They're the two strongest teams right now in the PBA. Yan ang mga sabi kong team talaga. Kumbaga, manalo, matalo, wala dyan yung sisiyan. Kaya yung susunod na game, sigurado asama mo, babalik ang kanya. Very dangerous. Yung 12-point lead, 8-point lead, kaya kaya habuli ng Alaska yun. Yung fast break, ano nila, offense nila, ano eh, it's hard to ano, defend pag ganun eh. Pag lahat tumatakbo. Sanay na sa championship pressure, lalo na pag umabot ng game 7. Yung nilaro nila nung game 1, intensity, tapos yung indepensa nila, talagang nakakolaps lahat. What would make San Miguel win over Alaska is their, the way they, they like to slow down the ball, they, they slow down the tempo of the game, and they play really good defense. I look at Nelson as the factor. Si Nelson na sa ito, no? yun ang advantage ng San Miguel. Alaska is having really hard time stopping Nelson right now. Asaitono is the key. If Nelson can get free and get loose and get his shots to fall, uh, San Miguel looks good. Si Nelson, pag maganda yung game niya, nananalo yung San Miguel. If um, Nelson could uh, uh, be, could dictate the game again, same as he did uh, the past two games before they lost, I think um, Alaska, San Miguel has an advantage over Alaska. Pag medyo minala sa si Nelson, sa ito, no? uh, gaya nung nangyari nung last game nga, Walang makapuno rin sa pagkawala niya. Once na minala si Nelson, uh, parang, parang walang nagtitake charge eh. Napatulungan nila si Nelson. Magiging dikit ang laban. Tingin ko mananalo yung Alaska. Alaska uh, is, has the momentum right now and, and most probably they would win the finals. So, tingin ko Alaska kasi ang Alaska magaling dyan sa mga Yung mga, for example, Game 7, yung mga ganyan na may pressure dyan sila talagang makikita mo yung kung, ga, kung gano'ng nadalhin yung pressure, gano'ng yung Alaska. Siyempre kami, yung San Miguel, sister company namin, eh, Gordons, kaya siyempre yung mga players namin, gusto rin namin San Miguel manalo.
Ako, I want San Miguel to win, but the way it's going, Alaska ako. Putangin, kasama natin ang MVP ng conference ito, ni si Nelson. Ito lang po natin malaman ko nung nasa isip niya ngayong gabing ito. Well, Nelson, katatapos mo lang makuha yung MVP ng conference, nasa 7 game tayo. Any thoughts para sa isang oras na lang na laro? Uh, kailangan siguro yung, yung championship naman. <laughs> Yan ang kailangan ko naman, namin siguro makuha. And, uh, yung para sa akin, siguro matagal pa yun yung isang MVP. <laughs> Hindi ko muna iniisip yun. Ito muna siguro ang laro na ito. Um, nung nakaraang game, medyo bumaba yung uh, production mo. Pero, syempre, six games, ah, five games ka ng sobrang putok ng putok eh, di ba? Pero, yung ika-seven game, anong tingin mong personal na preparasyon na ginawa mo para sa game na ito, Nelson? Well, siguro yung, yung dating game namin, yung magandang laro, ano, yun, siguro yung piniprepare namin para ngayon. Uh, ngayong seven games na to and yung six yung yung six game namin so parang binali wala na lang namin talagang pangit eh no? wala na kami magawa so yun yun uh, dito na kami sa seven game nag nagkaroon ng magkakaroon ng panibagong motivation uh, finally any predictions for this game Elsa? <laughs> Kailangan. <laughs> Mahirang magsalita no? dahil hindi pa naman nag-umpisa yung laro. Pagpipilitin namin makuha. Thank you very much, Elsa, saka good luck. Kasama natin ang sensational na rookie na si Daniel Defonso. Well, Danny, siguro ang pinakamagandang performance ng rookie ngayong taon na to na kay Daniel Defonso. Pero ano pa ang may hiling ng isang Daniel Defonso para sa conference ito? Siguro, unang-una, yung champion kami ngayon. Sana, sana yung, yun lang, yun lang muna sa uh, Yung ano, personal na feeling para sa larong to. naka na laro na eh, uh, wala nang bukas to. Final game na to. So, ano ang nasa loob mo ngayon? Matagal-tagal na ako dinakalaro ng championship, kaya iba ngayon eh, saka 7 game to. Yung rebounds, yung depensa, tsaka yung mga para makaupak, yung contribute ng team namin. Good luck, Danny, saka more power. Thank you. Well, ang kaiba lang nito is we're going up against San Miguel and first time na kakalaban ng Mr. Ron Jacobs. Although we played San Miguel before and it has always been difficult for us to, to win championships against San Miguel. And now with Ron, who's, who's very, very brilliant. Yeah, in, it's a different in a sense na kalabi namin si Sir Ron, uh, which has a lot, a lot of experience. Um, any particular predictions for this uh, seventh and final game? Bold predictions. Well, um, I'm only hoping that we would come up with a with the same game plan as last game. Like just, with, uh, we would start really really strong. Tapos tapusin talaga hanggang hanggang sa dulo na. Uh, on the lighter side, what do you plan to do tomorrow? Uh, we're going to the beach, uh, win or lose. And um, hopefully we can enjoy we can enjoy the, the next two days namin na, na break. Good luck, Josh, saka Godspeed. Okay, isa sa pinaka key players itong si sa to para sa Alaska. Si Miss Captain Barbell, Captain Marvel, no? Bagong pangalan ni Kenneth Dorantes. Kenneth, magandang gabi saka three all na. Isa na lang. Ano tingin mo mangyayari ngayong gabi nito? Um, yun na nga. First siguro uh, defense siguro ng papanalo kung sino talaga yung may pinaka uh, magandang depensa ngayon saka sino yung may focus sa game siguro yun ang magiging advantage yun ng isang team Anong difference ng San Miguel dun sa mga ibang nakalaban nyo sa other championships? Uh, pinakamahirap ba? Medya medya lang o pareho rin? Yung San Miguel kasi ano sila eh well coached well disciplined team uh, talagang kite down sila ng mga ilang points talagang hindi gumigive up unlike sa ibang teams na Kahit down na ng mga 10, 20, wala na. Nag-give up na. Pero yung San Miguel, talagang lumalaban sila hanggang hindi pa natapos yung game. Ang balak mong gawin bukas pagkatapos itong series na to? Uh, three days na siguro yung off namin. Siguro, uh, wala. Talagang pahinga. Dahil two, two weeks ata, start na naman tayo. So, kailangan mong pahinga. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Saka, good luck. San Miguel Beer!
They've missed their last four or five attempts. Oh, but there's an Asaitono, buries another three-point shot. Bang pito po yan. One minute and 39 seconds. Don't say we didn't warn you. There's an Asaitono. Oh, that will count with a foul. I don't believe this guy. Penetrate. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Nelson. Oh, the fall away by Nelson Asaitono. He is wild tonight. He's got 41 points. And he puts San Miguel back on top by three. Welcome back, Philippines. Noli Iyala po kasama si Kinito Henson and Noy Castillo ng Formula Shell para sa game number seven na McDonald's PBA All-Filipino Cup Championship. And uh, nakikita naman ninyo ang mga panderitas, ang mga lobo, ang mga streamers all around the Big Dome today. And it's been a very festive start here in game number seven. Right now, tinatawag na po ang lineup ng San Miguel Beer na itawag na ang Alaska Milk, the Beer Men are in their third Game 7 appearance. Rather, their fourth. They were, as you take a look at the Alaska starters, Ang Alaska also in their fourth. They were in the uh, Game 7 appearance in 1995 first conference, in the third conference, Laban San Miguel Beer, and then in the 1996 second conference, Laban sa Formula Shell. And San Miguel Beer naman, back in 1982 in the reinforced Filipino, up against Toyota, they lost that one. In the 88 Open against Pure Foods, and in the 1995 Governor's Cup, against Alaska Milk and opening toss nakuha ng Alaska Milk Abarientos with the first crack that will go out and how are we gonna look at this game Kinito, alam mo na ang dami na nangyari dito we, meron nagsasabi 3 point shooting meron nagsasabi uh, ika nga yung uh, rebounding but so far this has been a crazy crazy series well it's interesting that the two main men of both teams took the first shot. Johnny Abarientos from Long Range, hindi pumasok ang kanyang tira. At si Asaitono naman on the other side. But Kenneth Durand is getting the first basket here, Noy, and uh, that's a good sign for Kenneth. Yeah, you see that Nelson missed his first shot, but I don't think that's, that should affect him. The great offensive player that he is, he should keep shooting. At may tapik palabas ang depensa ng Alaska Milk. This has been a defensive battle. So far in the last six games. Well, pansinin natin, uh, Noli, no, kung paano nilalaro ng Alaska, ito si Nelson Azaitono. They've got Paul Hawkins on him, and he's got the ball outside. Wala pa post-up moves ito si Nelson Azaitono. But it looks like he's looking for his other teammates to get involved in the offense. Here we go with a pass break, two points. Off that turnover, Alaska is one of the best in terms of turnover points. They have averaged 17 here in the finals. San Miguel has to eliminate those easy baskets by Alaska. All throughout the series, Alaska's been getting those easy buckets. There's question about the health, even of this man, Mike Musri. His wrist, his wrist is suspect today, Kinito, and he missed that layup. Bong Hawkins hitting that triple. There's Freddy Abuda diving for that one, and he ran out of space. And Ron Jacobs holding on to the basketball. Oh boy, what action this early in the ball game. Now, two straight times, Alaska tried to run the break. One time they were successful, this other time, San Miguel able to play good transition defense, stopping the fast break two points. Hawkins at low post, Lapanke, Daniel Defonso, triple team, Dito Lemas Cabarientos, three points up! All net! That might be trouble for San Miguel. He's one player that can really dominate a game. Johnny can do it from the outside and the inside. Ron Jacobs did tell Coach Norman Black in their interview in the pregame that they'll have to double close to the basket and that will free up shooters of Alaska to score. Ang mas malaking problema pa dito kinito and Noy is the score. 7 to nothing is our score and this is the, this was the trend in game 3 and game 6. Both games were won by Alaska by, via a route. San Miguel in both games did not break the double digit mark. Abarientos again. Wala. That time nagkulang sa movement yung uh, Alaska Abarientos probably felt he had a good look tried it to make the shot from the baseline 
this I, offensive possession, they really should see what they can do besides Nelson right now. El Defonso is trapped, and he will be called for steps, and the defense of Alaska, especially inside, has certainly been impeccable. Right now, we have a report. Nimon Liboro. Mon? Okay, thank you, Nolly. Can you talk out? There was uh, less, of, uh, less of coaching, but more of playing. Pero alam na alam na ni Coach Tim Cohn ang lalaro yun ng, uh, uh, ng Sam Miguel at this point. So, uh, inaasahan na lamang niya na mga bata niya lalabas dito, aggressive at physical. At ito ang nangyayari dito. 7-0 na. Dalawang player na kailangan abangan. Tabul at ang trigger man. Balik sa'yo, Nolly. Maraming salamat, Mon. And right now, only three seconds a shot clock ng Alaska Milk. Dorendas turns around. Wala. Still no points for San Miguel Quinito. Yes, and Austin Rosello is doing the right thing. He's settling things down. They want to go to their half-court set. They want to be able to put the ball in the hands of a free shooter. El Defonso Salabas and finally gets the first two points to San Miguel Beer after nearly four minutes of action here. It's a big shot by Danny. Maybe Danny can get it going early here while Nelson's still cold and uh, wait for Nelson to come along. But no. in that half-court set, uh, you notice that Nelson and Saitona tried to post up but didn't get the basketball. Hawkins, laban kay Danny Ildefonso. Ildefonso has certainly been a revelation in the series. Hawkins goes inside. Look at the defense, just staying with Bong Hawkins. Two seconds to shoot. Abarientos gets away. Wala! Quina with an offensive rebound. He goes up, and he will be called for steps. That's tough defense on the part of San Miguel Beer. Well, makikita mo doon, Kinito that Daniel Defonso really stayed with Bong Hawkins and he has certainly played well in this series. Nolly, I've been dying to ask Noy Castillo this question. If you had a choice of which team to play for here in a Game 7, oh boy. which team would it be? Alaska or San Miguel and why? <laughs> well, it'd have to be San Miguel because I really think they could uh, use my outside presence. Uh, especially right now when Nelson's struggling, I, I could be uh, another option on offense for him. And look at this rebounding. Nelson Asaitono finally using his muscle underneath and getting his first basket. That's a good sign for San Miguel here. Crashing the offensive points, getting more than just one attempt at the basket. That should just help uh, Nelson tremendously right there. All the previous misses right now should be a race. If there's anything about Nelson Asaitono, he has raced this game in terms of rebounding in this series. From seven, about seven rebounds, up to the semifinals, he's now gone up to about eight and a half boards a game. And you know that he's also putting in the points para San Miguel Beer. He misses his three-point play. However, it's still a three-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Seven minutes and 13 remaining in game number seven, first quarter. Here's Huino inside. Wide open. What happened there? A wide open breakdown of the defense of San Miguel Beer. Coach Huino, San Miguel Beer's defense must recognize that he has developed into a big offensive threat here for Alaska. Not only is, a good, is he a good intimidating shot blocker, he also can score for Alaska. And Freddy Abuda doing the scavenging around the basket. San Miguel has to keep this game close early. They have to stay in the game by getting easy buckets, playing good deal, or else it could be previous, just like game six, the blowout. And that's also a good sign para San Miguel Beer. Rasel has been averaging in uh, field goal shooting only 36% down from his semis average. No, well, you mentioned about the blowout that San Miguel Beer suffered at the hands of Alaska in game six. And what is the call? I think it's taking steps, traveling violation. Now, we mentioned at the top of our coverage that San Miguel Beer comes out strong from losing a blowout. Three times it happened to them in this all Filipino Cup. They lost by 21 to Pure Foods, by 12 to Mobiline, by 18 to Gordons, and in each game, San Miguel Beer won. Well, that's just a lot of heart by the players of San Miguel. You know, a lot of pride stepping their games up, making sure that it doesn't happen twice in a row. And it looks like in this game, that may be a big factor. The heart, the spirit to win. Dorem, or rather Hawkins, nasa labas, hinahanap si Lastimosa. He goes inside, goes drop pass, Winyo, side jumper, and puts Winyo on the board with four points in the ball game. Lead is up to five, 11 to six, five minutes and 43 remaining sa ating unang yugto. Take a look at the field goal so far. Three out of 11 for San Miguel Beer. More attempts, but uh, Alaska getting more field goals converted. Asaitono in the middle, in and out, rebound. Gang rebounding on Alaska, limiting San Miguel to only one shot so far. But Asaitono is taking his shots now closer to the basket point. Mas malapit ang konti. Lastimosa gets it really close. That will rim out. Sayang yun. 
Right now, there just seems to be a lid over the bucket for Nelson. He just has to keep on shooting. Noy, do you feel, Noy, that San Miguel is trying to outshoot Alaska in the series, at least in the last three games? Uh, you know what? I think so. You know, San Miguel is so noticed for their uh, defense, and I think they might have got away from that a little bit. Well, Alaska scored 91 back in game number six. In the meantime, natapyas ni Ildefonso ang abante na San Miguel ng Alaska. Sa tatlong punto, San Marientos, pumaposte, 6 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Iniikot nila ang libre tao, si Kenneth Doremdes, bumaybay ng baseline, and there's gonna be a blocking foul. Laban kay Freddy Abuda, and Freddy Abuda will pick up his first personal foul. Well, that shot clock was almost out on Alaska, but it was a good foul that Freddy Abuda gave. He didn't want an open layup from the baseline for Kenneth Durendes. And we'll take a break. That's not true. In game number four, Alaska get it. That's not true. What? Well, hindi na po kayo kailangan lumayo pa. Ito na po ang bayan ng superstars and what a crowd we have at the Big Dome today. Just a three-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. First quarter action of game number seven. Bong Hawkins and Alaska will be slapped a three-second violation. Well, Bong Hawkins taking too long. There was a double team, but prior to the double team, it was the physical defense of Nelson Azaitono. Azaitono wanted to make sure that Bong Hawkins felt his physical presence. When the double team came, he was jammed. Apat na minuto, sampung saglit po, nalalabi sa ating first quarter. Mostre, binigay kay Nelson Asaitono. They're still in the long court. Four seconds on their shot clock. Rosella gets another basket. And Rolson Rosella now with four points in the game, and the lead is down to one para sa Alaska Milk. Well, we were talking about hard Olsen Rosella actually was a doubtful player for this game, suffering a painful hamstring pull. Now, Noy, let me ask you the question. In a game like this, with a championship on the line, when do you feel the jitters most? In the first quarter or the fourth quarter? Well, in a game like this, you're going to feel the nerves right before the game. After the ball goes up, you know, all nerves are gone. You're just going to play. You're going to feed off the emotion of the game, and uh, you're not really going to be nervous anymore. Well, right now, both teams not showing any signs of either nervousness or fatigue. They're just playing their game here, and it's just a three-point lead. Para sa Alaska Milk. El Defonso Salabas missing that one. Loose ball goes to Lastimosa. Three minutes and four seconds remaining in the first quarter. Kenneth Duremdes, who has played magnificent basketball in the series. At low post, inikot nila, Bong Hawkins, tumira sa labas. That will be short. Paul Guinho with an offensive rebound. Nobody boxing him out. And Guinho, by our count, has about, what, six points in this game? Paul Guinho with six points. Her correct, Kenito, four rebounds. The Lawas offensive glass. And Alaska, in terms of uh, second chance points, has outscored San Miguel in the series. El Defonso, sumaksak sa loob. Inilabas kay Mike Mustre. Mustre gives it to Freddy Abuda. Jump shot. Yes! Surprise basket. Malaki Freddy Abuda. Now that's a good sign for San Miguel Beer because Azaitono is not the exclusive offensive option. They're getting a lot of the other players involved in the offense. No? Yeah, those are those are good looks at the basket too. You know, nice open 15-foot jumper. In the meantime, yung pagka kinaliwa ni Bong Hawkins, sablay ang kanyang tira. Bullet pass to Mike Mustre. Under two minutes to play here. Mustre gives it out to Il Defonso, almost losing the leather. Here's Mustre. Nilabas ki Freddy Abuda. Six seconds on the shot clock. Awkward looking shot. Makes it. And Abarientos gets the rebound. Lastimosa with the lead pass from Abarientos. A minute and 43. Dito sa ating unang yugto. Hawkins. Abarientos is the open man. Patay na naman. Johnny Abarientos with five points. And the lead is back to five points here, 17 to 12. A little too slow in the rotation. Edo si Olsen Rosella was covering up Giorgio Lastimosa on the other end. Awala ito si Johnny Abarientos. Last time down the court, San Miguel took a very difficult shot, you know, off-balance uh, off shot with the shot clock running down. That's a tough shot. 
Daniel Defonso getting inside and uh, also leading the scorers. Para San Miguel Pier with a total of six. And that's a veteran move. Getting the ball down low and making that curl, that turn using the glass with a baby hook. Yeah, you wouldn't think a rookie can do that. Yeah, it's a higher percentage shot than the off-balance shot. Oh, what a move! Johnny Avarientos on the baseline. Doing the reverse. And Alaska back on top by five. Avarientos now with seven points. Trying to take charge. As I told him, nasa labas pa rin. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Nelson takes a sh hurried shot. And the rebound goes to Lastimosa. Abarientos looking downstairs. Sees an opening. Gets blocked by Daniel Devonso. As I told him, inahabol ni Abarientos. Sabal ni Bochvino. Helter Skelter basketball. Bong Hawkins. Wala. Rasela gets it with five seconds remaining. Rasela Paren, Sasak Saksalov, Nila Paskinelson, a second remaining, three point shot off the line. What a quarter! Nelson Asaitano has struggled here. Pochwinha has played tremendous defense, and Johnny Abariantos continues to fly. The flying A with a total of seven points, and Alaska on top by five after 12 minutes of action. Second quarter action underway now at Natapigan. Seals and Rosella, Rodney Santos in the ball game for the first time, gets his first field goal off a fast break. Si Villamin is also in the game. Kasama si Alan Kaidik at si Art de la Cruz naman para sa San Miguel Pier Quinito. That's a big switch. Now, Rodney Santos, he's got the size advantage over Rose and Rosella. Nakaupo ngayon si Johnny Abrentos. Pinagpapahinga ni uh, Coach Tim Cohn. Si Asay Tono naman, nakaupo rin for San Miguel Pier. And look who's here to do some damage to Triggerman. That's going to be huge for Sam Miguel if Allen can really get it going tonight. And he's real capable of that, as everyone knows. Tim Cohn mentioned that in his interview with Norman Black. He said his one concern is Alan Kaidik exploding. I talked to Ron Jacobs and he said, well, I'm hoping to get one big game from Alan in the series, and maybe it's going to be tonight. Alan Kaidik with a rebound. And the veteran that Alan is, this could be the night. Kaidik has struggled in the series, averaging only four points per ball game. Rasella. Goes inside, drops it off, and Vinamin is too slow to pick that one up. And partner, just a little bit of history in the three games that Alaska has played at game number seven. Las Timosa has averaged 18.3 points in those three games seven of Alaska. Abarientos 11.7 and Hawkins 12.3. So looking at those stats, very clear. Giorgio Lastimosa is the big gun for Alaska when it comes to a game seven. In the meantime, good defense ng Alaska laban kay Yoye Villamin. Dorendes takes a jump shot sa tabi and Dorendes gets another basket. A total of six points now for Captain Marble. Good sign for Alaska once more. Yung outside shooting nila in sync on target. Back to a seven point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Nine and 45. Alan Kaydik takes a jumper. Masyado malakas. Winyo has controlled the boards here. Dorendes. One on one. Laban kay Alan Kaydik. Na double team ni Villamin. They move it around. Libre na naman si Porto Winyo. Another breakdown on defense, Noy. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Right? Alaska just gets way too many easy buckets. It's been happening in all series. And Sam McGill has to do something about that if they want to stay in this game. Sa tingin ko, Noli, masyado maaga yung, pagka, yung pagkakadobol ng San Miguel, no? And they double not at the low post, but even at the high post when you have a Bong Hawkins with the ball. And that's why nawawala ito si Daniel Defonso. Durant is trying to get away here. Drop pass. Bong Hawkins, not the pick ni Villamin. Quick hands, however, by Hawkins. Picks up the ball. In and out para kay Rodney Santos. But that was a good shot by Rodney Santos. Again, another good look by Alaska. Yes, yan ang sinasabi ni Ron Jacobs. Kung pumapasok yung outside shooting ng Alaska, delegado na San Miguel. El Defonso. Late yung pasa ni Yoy Villamin. However, kay Dick is still there. And then Ago Pan again at Dorendes. And here's Captain Marble. Gives it to Lastimosa with a left hand. Better offensive foul. 
Larry, prior to that basket, offensive foul ang itinawag kay Kenneth Torremdes. They will nullify that basket. They're running, they're gunning. Alaska too quick for uh, Yoya Villamin. Actually, also too quick for Alan Kaidik. Yes. Each showing a little bit here in this championship series. Rasella takes a three-point shot. Rebound, Neil Defonso. Not the pick sa kamay. It will remain, however, with San Miguel Beer. And right now, si Freddy Abuda will check back in. You po si Alan Kedik at mukhang napuna rin ni Ron Jacobs yung sinabi mo kinito. Yung quickness ni Kenneth Durandes na anticipate niya kung uh, saan pipihit ito si Alan Kaidik and he's there at every turn of Alan Kaidik kanya nakukuha niya yung, uh, yung bola no? walang papasaan o mapasaan itong si Olsen Rosella there's gonna be a foul here foul number 32 ito si Pochwinho tatawagan ng foul his first personal foul both teams have kept away from those fouls here now Abarientos back in the ball game this is a nine-point ball game. Alaska on top. Look at the quick hands ng Alaska. A second remaining sa shot clock at maubusan ng San Miguel Beer. San Miguel is really out of sync right now. Their offense really struggling. And what caused that, of course, was the deflection. Now, Coach Ron Jacobs is up in arms. Hindi nilisit yung shot clock at yan ang nireklamo ni Ron Jacobs. And we don't know if there was any validity to that. But certainly they thought it was a fresh 24. No way! Let's see how it goes. Shot clock has been reset to 24 and it remains with San Miguel, Kinito. Yes, and that's the right thing to do because that was what should have happened. To reset the shot clock at 24 after the foul. Kanya erase yung yare in that uh, sequence. Kanya kinida lang. Ika nga nung anako, erase, erase. Art de la Cruz, laban kay Kenneth Duremdes. De La Cruz has also not been contributing big in this series. As I thought, a three-point shot, supply, rebound, makukuha ni Art De La Cruz. They have a fresh 24. Low post play. Ildefonso, whoa, quick move from the rookie. Going for the high percentage shot. Nelson and Saitono still can't get things going from outside, Noy. Yeah, I don't know. He just he has to find a way to get going. I think he needs to penetrate. Get draw a foul, maybe get an easy bucket or something. Sapal, si Johnny Amarietos, ni Jose Rosella, ni Freddy Abuda. And here come the white shirts. They move it around. Asaitono bangs bodies with Dorendes and he's called for the offensive foul. Just with nothing going right for Nelson right now. Masyadong maraming pinipilit si Nelson. And right now, parang uh, his, his mind is just trying to get those, those points. I think he really needs to get on track and he feels he needs to carry this team. So he's feeling the pressure. He's feeling the responsibility. Some numbers in the second quarter. Damning turnovers to San Miguel Beer. Alaska committed only six turnovers back in game six. A record in a finals game. Samantala, Tamira, si Bong Hawkins, Tabe. And the lead is back to nine points, 27 to 18. Another outside shot coming from Alaska. If we had a shot chart, siguro makikita natin. Maraming tirang Alaska sa labas at pumapasok. That's right. First two points yan ni Bong Hawkins sa Saitono. Maiksi naman dito sa tirang yun. At may loose ball foul na itatawag laban kay Kevin Ramas. Let's see, no, no. Kay Ildefonso yata. Daniel Defonso, yes. Kay Ildefonso. Ang foul na tinawag. And Daniel Defonso will pick up his first foul. Right now, we'll turn you back to Anthony Suntay and a report. Tungkol doon sa shot clock kanina. Anthony, ba nang nangyari doon? Well, you know, Nolly, to make a long story short, what happened was, nagkamali sila dun sa shot clock. They didn't reset it. So what they did, para wala nang gulo, they put back the clock a while ago to 8.06, and then they reset the 24-second shot to the full 24 seconds. Nolly? Well, at least maayos na ngayon ang takbo. At ang opensa naman ng Alaska, maayos na rin. Hawkins, way off the mark there. Outlet pass. Abuda, high off the board. Wala, he gets his own miss. At may foul, may tatawag laban kay Kevin Ramos. Here's an update on Asaitono's field goal shooting. One out of ten for Nelson Asaitono so far in this game. Yeah, you know, at a player standpoint uh, with Nelson, you know, he wants to play well so bad that, you know, maybe he's just pushing it a little bit too much. Well, right now, there's Freddy Abuda. This is our play na yon in our cafe, Puro Slomo. Siyamparin po ang abante ng Alaska Milk. Six and ten remaining in the second quarter. Happy to have you with us, Philippines. Noli Yala po kasama si Kinito Henson. And Noy Castillo, a Formula Shell. Another four shot. Nelson Azaitono, loose ball scramble. 
Half a bullet to Bong Hawkins. And here is Alaska again on the run. Drop oh, pass. Nice extra pass. Napayungan, si Roy Pisatos. Avanti si Nelson Azaitono. You're looking for a dunk here. No, just a layup. And Azaitono looking at Kenneth Dorendes. Parang, yeah. this may be it. But a partner, he nabbled Kenneth Dorendes. Exactly. The effort was there. And that's what Kim, Tim Cohn wants from his players. They need to be able to stop those easy baskets. And if they can't, at least they will try. Three point shot. Voila. Rodney Santos gets the offensive rebound. That ilalabas nila ki Johnny Abarietos. Seven point ball game. Para sa Alaska Milk. They have dominated this first half. Oh, a small man going up against the big man. And there's the foul. Mandela, si Art de la Cruz Acanto. And that cuts down the Alaska lead to 6, 28, 22. You know, one thing we must notice here, uh, Noli, is that while the game has been physical, we haven't seen really any temper flare-ups, and that's nice. Yung po mga kaibigan natin, mga pari sa Tarlac, kahapon nga, nandun ako, oh. at uh, pinagdadasal din na, not only for a peaceful and clean elections, but also for a peaceful and clean Game 7, because of the PBA Finals. Bola, mababalik sa San Miguel Pier. Alam mo, sa nabanggit mo na nga yung ano, eleksyon na yan. Sabi nga nung iba, nung nakausap ko, ang eleksyon daw, tatlong araw pa itong PBA. Ngayon na ang uh, araw na paghuhusga. And certainly, this is the day of reckoning for these two teams. Hoping to go back to the throne they used to occupy. Of course, Alaska last occupied it in 96. San Miguel in 94. Jump shot, Nelson Asaitono. And that lead is down to four. And now at that time, Nelson Osaitono was close to the basket. Yeah, that was a good look for Nelson. That, I think the lid is lifted from the rim for Nelson. And Alaska sues for time. Only 4.17 remaining. This is the second quarter. Abante po ang uh, Alaska Milk ng apat na puntos. Lead was as, was as high as uh, nine points kanina. At right now, si Hawkins ang may tangan ng bola. Laban kay Daniel Defonso. Lastimosa. Open momentarily. In and out. And uh, San Miguel now making its run, Noy. It's good that it's this, this lead. Only four points. And uh, really, San Miguel really hasn't played that well. They're still struggling on offense. It's still, it's still close. Kick out play. As I don't know, fix one. Three point shot. Voila. Rebound. Nakuwani Bong Hawkins. Abarientos. Season opening. Drops it off. Lastimosa goes inside. Jump shot off the glass. Slashing move by Jolas and Lastimosa now with a total of four points. Nice attempt by Jojo. Kanina. Yes. Nagmintisha from the outside. He thought maybe he should penetrate. He was hoping to get a foul, but anyway, he got the two points. Great move on his part. He makes it look so easy, too. That's a difficult shot coming off the glass like that, but yeah. he makes it look so easy. With a man in his face. Outside shot, Neil Defonso. And what seems to be the strategy here, Kinito? Neil Defonso to meet Tiras Alamas. Well, I think they're trying to get uh, Nelson Azaitono, Azaitono down low, perhaps for him to try to get some offensive rebounds. Whoa, oh, what a shot! Off balance shot on the run. The slasher, Rodney Santos. That's what Alaska can hit you in so many ways. You, know, you just can't uh, concentrate on one guy because they come at you. Every player comes at you. Rodney so Santos. Weapons. Oh, yes. Second pick overall back in 96. And he has certainly been a big help off the bench. Maraki Tim Cohn. Il Defonso. That's good ball movement para San Miguel Villa. And yet it started when Nelson Azaitona posted up. He drew the double team. Then quick ball movement. And the lead is down once again to six points. Hawkins. Lamat ki Daniel Defonso. 13 seconds on the shot clock. 2.17 seventeen the game clock. Hawkins goes inside. Il Defonso is right with him and he's called for steps. Hey, what can you say about the rookie Il Defonso, the way he played straight up defense on Bong Hawkins? Yeah. 
Botchuinho is back in the ball game. Outside shot, that'll be short. And the tap goes to Johnny Abarientos. Two and one fast break. Johnny A drops it off. Gorebdes is inside. Double team. Umahanap ng traveling si Ron Jacobs. Good pass inside. Abarientos masyado malakas. Rebound to Freddy Abuda. A tremendous defense once more by Ildefonso. Nate Johnny Abarientos missed that easy two two. Easy layup shot. Asaitono drives and oh, lay up. Freddy Abuda losing the leather. Hey, Pochuino. Hawkins. Laban kay Bo, or rather kay Olsen Rosella. Johnny A against Olsen Rosella, and there's going to be a foul against Rosella. What action we're seeing here. Everything and all for Alaska Milk. He misses that layup. Rino with a missed shot. At Nakuana rebound, ni Daniel Defonso. And Ildefonso waiting for Olsen Rosella to bring up the ball. He's the man in charge. He needs to slow things down. Anim po ang abante ng Alaska Mill. 32-26. Under a minute to play here in the second quarter. Now it's Danny posting up. Turn around up. shot. Not there. And the pass broken up. De La Cruz picks it up. Asaitono challenges the defense. And he will draw foul. Mulaki Kenneth Torrentes. And a technical will be called on Jojo Lastimosa. Well, Alaska saying that the shot clock ran out on San Miguel Beer. But the referee is saying that there was contact before the shot clock ran out. And a technical foul. You know, we have seen more in this first half than we've seen in the last six games. Incredible action. Unbelievable action. We haven't seen too many points scored because of the tight defense on both ends. Giorgio Lastimosa slapped the technical. Alamo, last year, he had six technical fouls all in all in the entire year. Olsen Rosella, one of the league's top free throw shooters. Gets the free throw. And the lead is down to five. And now, the two free throw ang ibibigay kay Nelson Asaitono. Nung sa foul na ibinigay laban kay Kenneth Durendes as we take a look at the trigger man, Alan K. Dick. And it seems like tatawag ng timeout. Well, back in game number five, when Azaitono scored 41 points, he had 34 attempts from the floor. That's a lot of attempts. Right now, as we take a look at Nelson Azaitono fashioning his free throws, back-to-back -back, all Filipino conference, MVP 97-98. Meron report po si Mon Liboro tungkol dun sa technical foul kanina ni Jojo Lastimosa. Mon, ano nangyari doon? Okay, actually, Noli, kanina yung alingaskas dito sa Alaska Bench. Nagre-reklamo sila bakit tinawagan ng technical si Jojo Lastimosa. Samantala, ang sinisigaw ang tanong ni Jojo Lastimosa ay si Pochuinho na mag-rebound. Wala daw siyang galit sa referee. Pero narinig referee Bernarte, pinigyan siya ng tee. Well, mukhang uh, talaga sa dami naman ang naghihiyawan dito. Eh. Mahirap nang marinig. <laughs> Yung mga pagsigaw-sigaw, siguro pagsimigaw ko eh, medyo masama na kagad sa tenga ng mga referee. Nonetheless, the lead is down to four here on that split by Nelson Asaitono, 32-28. Now, Villamil is back in the game and Ildefonso is taking a rest. Only 22 seconds remaining. Hawkins, laban kay Villamil, forces one up. May wala yun. And De La Cruz gets the rebound. Maganda rin ang defense ni uh, Villamil. Yes. And I'm losing my points. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> Last shot time of the half. Asaitono looks up at the clock. Three seconds it reads. Three points shot. Oh, big shot, big shot for Nelson. And if you want to end a first half, that's the way you want to end oh, it, Tony. Oh, yeah, I bet that really feels good for Nelson now. Noli Iyala po, kasama si Kinito Hanson at si Noy Castillo ng Formula Shell. This is the third quarter of game number seven. Ito po sa Big Dome. Right now, our score is still 32 to 31. And the first possession, sa panic ng uh, San Miguel Beer. Oh, tough shot. Malaki Freddy Abuda offensive rebound ni Danny Ildefonso. At may pag-tulak. Uh, Itong si Johnny Abarientos laban kay Ildefonso. And Abarientos will pick up his uh, second personal, or rather first personal foul. You know, that's a surprising stat, Noy, that four block shots of San Miguel. Alaska has dominated the block shots department, but obviously, San Miguel is not giving easy shots inside. Yeah, San Miguel is really not known for their uh, block shotting capability. And Olsen Rosella scoring from three-point range. That's a big shot because that gives the lead to San Miguel Beer at this stage. Now, 
During halftime, we were saying that Alaska likes to explode in the third quarter. Let's see whether which team is going to explode here. Oh, basket inside. Mula kay Pots Winyo. May kakibat na foul. Laban kay Daniel Defonso. And that'll be the third foul on the rookie. When you have the ball on the rebound, particularly against a swarming defense, you need to put two hands in the ball and keep it low. And the lead swings back to Alaska Milk. 35 to 34. Rosella. This is the starting lineup of both teams. As I don't know, getting a kill defense on the stretch. And that's going to be a defensive goal ending. As I thought, playing decoy that time, he had the ball, he faked the shot, but he knew there was going to be a strong side cut from Daniel Defonso. Yeah, there was a great penetration and dish by Nelson. I think uh, he really needs to start doing that a lot more. That's one thing that's been very underrated, Gene Nelson. He has averaged close to four assists in this final series, and he has really upped his numbers that's from right. the semifinals. In three games in the final series, Asaitono has compiled at least five assists. Oh. Samantala, lastimoso sa labas with three seconds on the shot clock. Naagaw! Oh, yeah, beautiful Marietos steal. Yes. Out of nowhere, nakuna sana ni Asaitono. But that's Johnny Amarientos for you. Lastimosa, loose ball, makukuha ni Bong Hawkins, but he loses his footing and he will lose the handle as well. Coach Ron Jacobs telling his boys, grab the ball with two hands. There is no more tomorrow, at least here in, the, in this All-Filipino Conference for both teams. This is it. And they're fighting for all the marbles. Oops, traveling on Kinawag. Yes. But they ran the same play twice in a row. And Ildefonso almost had the shot, Noy. Yeah, he, he's a good cutter, you know. Uh, he takes uh, advantage of the opportunity he gets when uh, Nelson has the ball and double team. And plus, there's good spacing when Nelson Asaitona has the ball outside. There's space for, uh, for Ildefonso to come in strong. Oh, it's a good. Itan Ildefonso, you're tearing Bong Hawkins. Well, shot up another block shot for San Miguel. And he's making him work around him. As Aitona takes a three-point shot. Offline. Rebound. And there's going to be a foul. Oh, Loose Freddy ball Abuda. foul against Without Freddy Abuda. Yes. yes. This is a historic Game 7. Only the eighth time it has happened in PGA history. In the meantime, Johnny Abariendos banks two points from the outside and grabs the lead once again for Alaska, 37-36. Had a good look. You know, when Alaska doesn't have the triangle going, they simply go to that pick play, and Johnny Abariendos gets a nice look at the basket. Rosella, who hammered by Jojo Lastimosa. And Lastimosa will pick up, pick up his second personal foul. Hindi naman sinasadya yun. Hindi talaga sinasadya. Johnny. Asaitono looking for an open man. Mustre, he has not really come up with his points today. Still a lot of time left here in the shot clock. Asaitono takes a three. Wala. Hinabol ni Freddy Abuda. Natapik palabas ni Johnny Abarientos. And you really have to like the way Freddy Abuda has played, Noy. He's like a Dennis Rodman for the San Miguel Beer team. Yeah, he's perfect fit for San Miguel. You know, he's a really a good role player and fits perfect in the uh, Ron system. Well, you know, he's got a nose for rebounds. When he sees his teammates try to score from the outside, he knows that rebound's going to be long. So he knows exactly where to go. That time, Abuda didn't get the ball to fall inside. Again, it's the up-tempo game of Alaska. Yes. Yeah, look for Alaska to do that. You know, they really uh, stayed away from that, and that's what they're best at. You know, all guys running the floor. That's how they get their easy buckets. Bump foul in Mike Musre's first personal foul right now. We'll turn you over. Turn it over to Anthony Santayan, a report on San Miguel Beer. Anthony? Because they said they were practically clobbered by Alaska in the first half, but they were only down by one, so things are looking up for them, and they're very confident coming into the second half. Noli? Well, they certainly have to be happy, Kinito, dahil ang laki ng hinabol nila siya na puntos at hindi naman maganda yung kanilang ginagawa sa opensa. Exactly. Although, of course, uh, Nelson Asaitono began to score in the second period. He had eight of his ten points in the second quarter. Bagya na nakalusot si Daniel Difonso. Nilabas ki Nelson Asaitono for three. Still cannot get the range. But they continue to ride that three-point shooting of Nelson Asaitono. 
Hawkins, he has also struggled here today. Up against a smaller man, and there's going to be an illegal defense call. Laban sa San Miguel Beer. That's the first of that nature here in this ballgame. You know, in the second quarter, you saw Nelson Azaitono post up, drawing a double team, and San Miguel's ball movement was exceptional. And I don't understand kung bakit hindi nila ginagawa yung na mas madalas, no? Here in the third quarter, again, he's taking shots from the outside. He's not posting up. They need him to post up because he can draw fouls there. He can also find the open man. He can pass off the double. Abarientos, Laban kay Azaitono. At hindi na naman natanganan. Ito si El Difonso. Mabuti na lamang at natapik palabas ni Jojo Lastimosa. Samantala, may report po si Mon Liboro tungkol naman sa Alaska Milk. Mon? Okay, salamat sa'yo, Nolly. Alam ni Coach Tim Kong, kaninang first half, baka wata kalapitan sa Miguel Beer. Hindi ganun kaganda nilalaro na sa Miguel Beer. Pero dito, dito sa second half, dinamayan niya kanyang mga bata. Kailangan may clamp down tayo, lalo lalo na kanyang asa ito. No? At uh, uh, dito sa opensiba ng uh, San Miguel Beer. Samantala, kalipong tayo sa Nolly. Maraming salamat mo. That was a good play para sa San Miguel Quinito. Well, partner, ito si Nelson nagpost na, no? When he saw that yung kalaban niya si Kenny Turendez, you will expect Nelson to post up Kenny Turendez each time out. And Daniel Defonso at the free throw line off that foul. The Poch Winyo who picked up his second personal foul. And look at his game six numbers, 18 points. No, and this certainly is a guy who... Coach Ron Jacobs is looking for. This is a guy who, for uh, I mean, you were supposed to be in his place, and now he's in San Miguel. <laughs> That's true, but uh, things turned out uh, on the shell, and very happy. Uh, well, Daniel Defonso turned 21 years old last December 8, so he's got a long career ahead of him, and what a performance he's showing oh, here yes. in his very first conference as a pro. Ron Jacobs has said he is he was the missing link. And a good shot. Mula ki Jojo Lastimosa mula sa labas. Six points in the game para ki Jolas. Lead swinging back and forth. Alaska on top by one. That much time remaining. Game number seven. Third quarter action. Mustre. Bumira ng tres. Patay! And that took a long time coming from Mike Mustre. It's been a while since we saw Mike Moustre. And yes, Mike Moustre, he did score in game number five. He scored only four points in game number six. Good things happen for San Miguel Beer because they get good rotation and they get the free spot-up shooter to make the shot. And that should be a good sign, Noy. When more people get, are getting involved in the offense of San Miguel Pier, as you see, this loose ball foul against Nelson Aceitono. Third quarter action, 5.41 remaining. Abante po San Miguel Pier ng dalawang puntos, 41-39. At ang may bola ngayon, ang Alaska Milk. They led for most, if not the entire first half. Pero ngayon, ang San Miguel, medyo bumibira na ng bahagya. Lastimosa, oh, yes. this game. Well, that's the point we were saying. Jorge Lastimosa is the man who can lift Alaska to great heights. He has been their top Game 7 scorer here in its PBA history, in Alaska's PBA history. As we said, 18.3 point average in the three Game 7 that Alaska has played. This is only our first deadlock, 41 all. Mga kaibigan, at may foul sa paglusot ni Olsen Tracela. Johnny Abarientos will pick up that second personal foul. Only the fourth team foul para sa Alaska Milk. Apat din para sa San Miguel Beer. And only three-point shooting stat. San Miguel Beer, three out of 12 from Triple D range. That's 25%. Alaska, one out of three, 33%. Oh, bad pass. Pero nakuha muli ni Nelson Asaitono. And there's going to be a blocking foul. Laban kay Kenneth Doremdes. Doremdes will pick up his third personal foul now. Dangerous cross-court pass. Rasela tumina ng tres. Mike Siam napulot. Napitawan muli at lalabas ang bola sa panig ng Alaska pupunta. Well, you know, this game is just keep going back and forth, you know. It's a power struggle. No one can uh, get control of the game. Look for somebody to make a little run here before the end of this quarter. You know, in this game, in this series, Noy, the team that shot better from the three-point range has won every game. And certainly, that is something that we're going to look at in this ballgame. 
Uh, well, San Miguel's definitely trying to uh, get the more attempts up. That's true. Still yeah. a tight ball game. Your point about someone taking over, Jorge Lastimosa, he tried to, to connect twice in a row in this quarter. Failed in his third attempt, but made it on his first two. Ten seconds na lamang sa shot clock ng San Miguel nung natapig ang bola sa kamay ni Daniel Defonso. San Miguel a little careless with the way they handle the ball, Kinito. Jump shot ni Freddy Abuda. Wala. Offensive rebound ni Daniel Defonso and there's another whistle. Wala sa baseline referee si referee Bartolome. A pushing foul. Laban kay Daniel Defonso and that's the fourth foul on the big man. Mulupi, mulup, muli po kami nagagalak na makasama kayo, Pilipinas. Noli Iyala po kasama si Kinito Henson at si Noy Castillo. Para sa game number seven and a good slash to the lane. Para sa Alaska Mill, Kenneth the Remnant is getting the basket and the lead is back to two points para sa Alaska Mill. Yeah, that was a difficult shot but Kenneth the Remnant, he will look and find the angle to be able to make that kind of a shot. Inside play, as I turn a power move, voila. Dorendes, foot race, Laban kay Mike Musler. He goes up. Too strong. Hawkins with offensive rebound, but the loose ball foul will be called against the Hawk. Two free throws on the penalty. Now, it was again to Remdes. He was called for a charging foul early in the game. And I think that was behind his, uh, uh, that was in his mind when he took off. He didn't want another charging foul, and that's why he changed his shot in midair. Right now, this is a tight ball game. 43 all, three minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Third quarter. Lastimosa, Laman kay Yoye Villamin. Hawkins, mismatch right there. Gets oh, yes. Marcella out of the way and a good spin for Laki Bob Hawkins. No good switching by San Miguel Beer. Yoye Villamin moved out of the way. And Olsen Garcella not able to stop Bong Hawkins from scoring at close range. Right now, every possession is so big at this time of the game. You can tell the players are really concentrating on what they're doing. High up for the rebound of Kenneth Doremdes. Another three-point miss by San Miguel Beer. Inside two points! And not there, but Yoyer Villamin will be called for the foul. And Wino almost had the slam dunk. Right now, it's a four-point lead for Alaska Milk. A couple of exchanges now, Kinito. Turnover after turnover here. Alan Kedik takes a three-point shot. Voila! Rebound at may loose ball foul. Na itatawag laban kay Art De La Cruz. Both teams are in the penalty. So, we begin on dalawang free throw si Poch Uinho. You know, we'd like to comment here that this is a very rare situation where three former most improved players are on the court at the same time. Poch Uinho was the most improved player in 1996, Bong Hawkins in 1994, and Yoyo Villamin was most improved in 1987. Talking about Yoyo Villamin, alam mo ang kasaysayan niya with Alaska is also very interesting. He played for Alaska from 87 to 1990, and he was in fact one of those that brought Alaska to their first championship 
finals. Back in 1987, your second and third conference, he was the most improved player. He averaged 17 points for Hills Brothers that year. Right now, he's trying to help the Beerman against his former team. And the rebound goes to Alaska. Shots not falling for San Miguel Beer. Here's Alaska playing up-tempo once more. Six-point lead for the Milkman. That much time remaining in the third quarter. Game number seven. Wino called for steps. What has happened here, Noy, to San Miguel? All of a sudden, their shooting has gone cold. Yeah, you know what, though? Alaska uh, seems to pick up the defensive intensity right now. Last cu couple times down the court, they've uh, picked up full court, made uh, San Miguel rush into their shots. Well, Azaikono has scored nothing so far here in the third period. Ayun na naman yung double team, triple team. Nilaglaki Villamin, he was not up to the task. However, nakulan ni Arte La Cruz. Pinilit na kagad yung tirang yun. Well, what a shot to take by Arthur La Cruz. A lot of time left, and here's the fast break attempt. What a move! Hola, que Johnny Alvarez. We are seeing it now. This is a big possession right now. Asaitono for three, way off. Offensive rebound, and De La Cruz na pitawa ng bola. And there's oh. going to be a foul by Yoyo Villamin. That's a bad foul with only a second remaining here. And he has been very steady from the free throw line. One of perhaps the best clutch shooters the PBA has ever seen. Jojo Lastimosa, a member of our Centennial Dream Team. Only a second, a shade under two seconds remaining here. And Alaska on top by nine. He's been at Tony Island, Kay Dick. At Janpo Magwawakas. Ang ating third quarter, a nine to nothing run. Nagpasimula po ang fourth quarter with a drive para sa Alaska Milk. Right now, Alaska with a commanding 10-point lead. This is their biggest lead. And you see that Danny just checked in. Uh, Coach Jacobs can't afford to keep uh, Danny on the bench. Even though he has four fouls, uh, with the way Sam McGill's offense is struggling right now, he's got to put Danny in. Well, this is 11 straight points now by Alaska going back to the third period. That's right. That's an 11-0 run, and San Miguel Beer's offense has fallen asleep. From the last time we were tied at 43, hindi na nakascore ang San Miguel. As I told him, nakakita ng konting puwang, niluso ba defensa? And what a move from the ball. Well, as I told him, badly needed that shot, Noy. He's got to use his power to move close to the basket. He should refrain from taking outside shots. Hindi niya nakuha ang kanyang three-point play. Lead is down somewhat to nine. 54-45 right now. Abariantas has the leather laban kay Olsen Rasela. Nakakita ng konting uh, screen. Eight seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Johnny goes up, forces that one, and he draws a foul from Nelson Asaitono. And Asaitono will pick up. That will be his first, third personal foul. Right now, pasa natin muli kay Anthony Suntay at courtside. Anthony? Alam mo, Nolly, si Coach Ron Jacobs was really, really mad at his team saying in the last couple of minutes, it was a total breakdown. He kept reminding them, total breakdown, total breakdown. Look, this is the fourth quarter. Let's forget everything. We have to start fighting and start fighting now or else it's going to be too late. Nolly? Right now, nakikita natin si Ron Jacobs, Pinito, and we know that he hates his, uh, when his players start to foul. That's right, and they're giving up too many fouls here very early in the fourth period. Now, Freddy Abuda is riding the bench. And I think he's being saved for the last uh, ditch defense that he will have to play against Giorgio Lastimosa, who's now sitting down. Now, Coach Tim Cole has a big advantage here. He's looking for the press, and he's looking for a turnover here. They're looking for the trap. And there you see the numbers in the third quarter. Only 17% para San Miguel Pier. Oh, that's, that's atrocious shooting by San Miguel Pier, to say the least. This is the biggest lead ng Alaska. Alan Kaidik, Art de la Cruz, four seconds on the shot clock. At may pito si referee Bernarte, this will be an illegal defense call against Alaska. Kevin Ramas at tinawagan ng illegal defense. 
still an 11 point lead for the Milkmen going for their eighth title there in their 11th finals appearance in the last 12 conferences as Aitono powers his move inside and again a power move by Nelson Azaitono, but that was helped along by Daniel Defonso, who ran a screen for him to move around so he could get free and score on the layup. 14 points para kay Azaitono, sablay ang opensiba ng Alaska Milk, and here they come. They're down by nine. El Defonso, he is well rested. Goes up, off the glass, wala. Tough shot. Nearly two minutes gone by in the final quarter. Inside pass, Pochwinho gives it to Gramas, who loses the handle, and it will go back to San Miguel Beer. And Lastimosa checking in para kay Johnny Abarientos. Rodney Santos is going to be playing the point guard position. Well rested is Jorge Lastimosa. This is a fresh lineup that uh, Alaska has. Almost, almost a turnover. Yes, almost a miscue here. Three-point shot. Voila. Alan Gaidek has simply struggled in the series. Dorandes. Ramas is inside. And this time he will redeem himself. A great pass coming from Kenneth Dorandes. That's the way you run a fast break. Bringing the ball up the middle and then looking for the open open man in the passing lane. They have the best fast break in the PVA. They're so good at that getting up and down the floor. Illegal defense against Alaska Milk. That'll mean a technical free throw now para San Miguel Beer. Well, you know, it's a good advantage for Alaska though right now because Johnny's on the bench taking a break. They have a nice little lead here. He can take his break and then come back in and uh, for the stretch run of the game. I think that's a great point that you make, Noy. This is a big luxury for Tim Cohn and it's going to put a lot of pressure on coach Ron Jacobs down the stretch. Uh, the luxury that Sam McGill doesn't have right now, being down for one and also the injuries that they have. Again, yung pacing ng mga tao dito, Alaska has had the luxury because of their lead. Kaidik, yes! Alan Kaidik banging his fourth point in, and the lead is cut to eight points, 58-50. Nine minutes remaining in the final quarter. We're happy to have you with us, Philippines. Dalong lalo na sa ating mga kababayan dyan po sa San Pablo City at sa Los Baños, Laguna. Rodney Santos, laban kay Olsen Rosella. Six seconds to shoot. Dorandes, inigot nila kay Lastimosa. He knows it. He goes up. And that will trickle out. Ang dami nagliliparan dito, partner. And as I tono, he finds himself on the floor. It will be a loose ball foul. And outside of the playing court. Oh, yes. Kevin Ramos will be called for that foul. Well, you know, in that situation, Alaska tried to run the post-up play. Rodney Santos on Olsen Rosella. And Santos had the ball for too long. And that's time with the offensive movement, the rhythm of Alaska. Still a long way to go here. Eight and a half remaining in the fourth quarter. Rosella, humahanap ng foul. Eight seconds on their shot clock. See, Allen really wants the ball right now. And another illegal D. <laughs> Rosella led the league in assist to turnover ratio last season 4.4 to 1 and he misses the free throw and certainly San Miguel naghahanap ng puntos kahit saan nila kunin 8 and 15 remaining ito sa ating final quarter and the ball will go back to Alaska and that's a good call I saw that Jacobs looks on yeah, Johnny took a short break, but that's all it was. Uh, Coach Cone isn't going to leave him on the bench for that long. Not in game seven. Dorandes trying to get loose from that defense. Traveling. Laman ke Pochwinho. Under eight minutes to play here. Welcome back, Philippines. Under eight minutes to play. Noli Yala po kasama si Kinito Henson at si Noy Castillo ng Formula Shell. Fourth quarter action, game number seven. Abante pa rin ng Alaska ng walong puntos. San Miguel only led one time here. This game has been tied only twice, but it's been that big nine to nothing run to end the third quarter that, that has been the key part of this ball game. And oh, Hawkins, beautiful defense. Beautiful defense by Bong Hawkins taking it out of the hands of Nelson Azaitono as he tried to post up. Oh, libre na naman si Pochwinho. Again, a great look inside and nobody just taking on Pochwinho here, Kinito. Daniel Defonso taking his eyes away from Pochwinho, and Winio has been hurting 
San Miguel time and again. Oh, in a big way, 17 points na si Pochuino in this ball game. Now, you can we see mentioned right now yeah. that Alaska is extending their defense to four court to really try to push the action here to get it to up tempo. Samantala third foul ni Jojo Lastimosa. Lead is up to 10 points. Seven minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Rasella. Asaitono again playing the long court. Now he goes inside. He goes up off the glass. Andos Yard de la Cruz for the putback. But again, it was Nelson Asaitono taking the shot. Alan Kaidik begging for possession because they're doubling off Alan Kaidik, leaving him open. Si Art de la Cruz, may anim na puntos na. At ang abante ng Alaska na tapya sa walo. Lastimosa. Iniikot nila. Abarientos ang libre sa kanto. Same play. This time, however, walang puntos. And another opportunity for San Miguel to come close. Asaitono drops it off. Art de la Cruz again with eight points now in the ball game. Back to back baskets. Sa pinagmamalaki ng Hagono yung pulangan. At that time, there was a pass. Asaitono did not take the shot. Lead is down to six points. Goremdes, jump shot, in and out. That may lose ball foul against, let's see, Nelson Asaitono. Oh, that's a big call. Nelson Asaitono pushing off to get the defensive rebound. And that's the fourth foul for the Bull. Well, you know, again, there was no one between Pochwinio and the basket. Yes. No one boxed him out. So he's getting away. Loren, this is the open man. Voila, Paren. And now Alaska shots not dropping, Noy. It's great ball movement by Alaska as you see in them throwing around the horn like that, but they just can't seem to knock the jumpers down. This could have been a bigger lead with the way they're taking their shots. It's just not falling for them. El Defonso on a poste. I think it's wide open on the right side. He's calling for the ball. Oh boy. Asaitono drops it off and a bad pass by Nelson Asaitono. Actually, Nelson Asaitono tried to run the same play he did with Art de la Cruz. That's right. In the previous play. Lastimosa. Hawkins. Libre sa Barrientos. He does not take the shot, however. Nine seconds of shot clock. This time he takes it. Oh, yes. That's a big shot. Again. They don't have the triangle. They go for the simple tick play. And Johnny Abarieto is getting the good look. Patience, patience, patience. Para kasi Alaska Milk. And they're back on top by eight points. That's where Alaska's experience might come in right here. That's right. They've been here so many times. They know to be patient in situations like this. That's a great point. I think for three. Voila. Rebound, scramble. Hawkins gets it. See, they're slowing it down right now. They know they have control of the game. Good shot from Alan Kaidik. He was wide open. Hindi lang niya makuha yung puntos. At may tabik na palabas. Mula kay Alan Kaidik. Only 4.46 remaining here. Alaska, patuloy na namamaya pag by 8 points. Welcome back Philippines. Only 4.46 remaining. Dito po sa basketball game. Game number 7 ng McDonald's PBA All-Filipino Cup Championship Series. Alaska is on top by 8. Lastimosa. Wala. Hawkins gets the offensive rebound. And they will have a fresh 24. Well, we talked about how important rebounding was at the top of our coverage. Oh, what, what a pass! pass. There you go. What a layup! The flying A. It's a 10-point lead. Lastimosa and Abarientos connecting. 20 points for Gijani Abarientos. And San Miguel Beer is in dire straits right now. Inside pass. De La Cruz fakes. Goes up. Almost went out there. And the lead is down to eight. They're San not giving up without a fight here, Kenito. San Miguel Beer still sticking to Alaska, but this is an eight-point lead. They're looking for a defensive stop. Time slowly running out on the Beerman. Libre na naman si Abarientos. Bumaybayin ang baseline. Then kicks it out. Dorendes takes a jump shot. Naagaw yung pasa. And as they look at it, handle the ball. Ran out of space. Only one second on the shot clock, though. And possession for Alaska with only a second on their shot clock. You know, that play shows you the intelligence of uh, Johnny Abarientos. He knew that it was Alan Kaidik on top of him, and Alan just can't keep in step. Abarientos bubbles, throws up a prayer, and they will lose the 24-second shot clock. So this is an opportunity now. Para sa San Miguel Pierre Quinito. 
malaking bagay itong possession ng San Miguel Beer. They almost need to score here. Three minutes and 34 remaining. And we're glad to have you with us, Philippines. Part na nagiging masyadong predictable na, no? Ang galaw ng San Miguel Beer. Asay Tono gets away and gets the basket! May kasama pang foul! Nelson, not too good from the free throw That's line right. in this game. Look at his field goal shooting, 7 out of 25 today. But kagaya na sinabi ni Ron Jacobs, I have rode the ball and I will ride him once more. And wherever he takes me, that's where we're gonna go. And right now, the ball has taken them to within 5 of that Alaska lead. Las Timosa, they put it out. Avarietos goes up, up and no! And the rebound by Arte La Cruz. That shot bothered by Nelson Asaitono. And again, Rosella looking for that pick to be set by Nelson Asaitono. He gets the ball once more. Under three minutes to play. Kaidik, libre si Del Difonso. Two minutes at Patay! Oh, that's a big shot. From the baseline, open man. A different offensive option for San Miguel Beer. Only two and a half remaining in the basketball game. Alaska is on top by three points. Hawkins is inside. Tough oh, shot! Yes. What a move! He was in deep. Hawkins was in deep. He was in the lane. He threw up the baby hook. Coach Ron Jacobs going with Alan Kai Dick here in the home stretch instead of Mike Mustre. Kapet Bayan, two minutes and seven remaining. Limang puto sa kabante ng Alaska. Inside pass. De La Cruz, supply and tira. A tough shot as we enter the last two minutes. Brought to you by Hope Luxury Cigarette, the largest selling luxury cigarette. You see Johnny here really taking control of the game, directing traffic. Lastimosa. Cross court pass. Abarientos takes the jump shot. Oh, yes! yes! Good ball rotation off the double. It's still, this is still far from over. A minute and 42, seven point lead para sa Alaska. But they're certainly looking good at this stage. Rasela, naipit. De La Cruz, pinigay kay Alan Kaidik. Kaidik has the open lay. He goes up and he gets that basket. Lead is down, sum up to five. A minute and a half remaining. Looking for a defensive stop. It's Abarientos. a five-point lead. Si Wino, hindi titira yan. And they're milking the clock, which is the right thing to do. San Miguel Beer not forcing the issue. Neither team in the penalty. They're not giving up the foul. Yung po ang ating shot clock. Three seconds. And it's the bounce. Nabitawa ng bola ni Kenneth to rem this. And Turn now, over. another opportunity here. What a ball game here. San Miguel has another crack at this lead. Five-point lead. Enjoyed by Alaska. But it's San Miguel Beer possession. Hindi pa oras para sa three-point shot kinito, obviously. Not yet. But I think... They smell the sense of urgency. They'll need points in a hurry. That's true. Asaitono. Oh, oh that's big a bad. Big defensive move here by Bong Hawkins. What? And it looks like San Miguel Beer will need to foul to stop the clock from running. They're not fouling. Less they than a not, minute to go. They're not in the penalty, Kinito. I know that they need to get into the penalty. And they're not fouling. Lastimosa gets inside. Pasa niya kaya Barrientos. Three seconds to shoot. Oh, yes. What a shot! And the game, I think, is now put on ice. Kinito para sa Alaska Milka, seven San Miguel point Beer lead. is looking for a three-point shot at this stage now. They've got Musre, Asaitono, and Kaidik now all together. And another missed three-point shot by Nelson Asaitono. He's only got one the entire game. And that may be truly indicative of what has happened here, Noy. They rode the back of the ball he did not deliver today. And Alaska, on the other hand, rode the little shoulders, the small shoulders of Johnny Abarientos. Yeah, you know, Nelson just never could get it going. Uh, the past two games, he just had a lid over the rim and nothing would drop for him. Well, now San Miguel Beer giving up the fouls to put San Miguel in the penalty. Well, now that was just a 15 foul. Let me ask you a quick question, Noy. Here in the fourth period, Johnny Abarientos has exploded with 12 of his 24 points. How would you have guarded Johnny Abarientos if you were on the court? You know, I, I don't know really if there's anything you can do. You know, he's such a great player. Uh, when he gets hot like that, maybe the only thing you can do is pray that he misses. <laughs> well, Kinito, kinamayanan ni Alan Kaidik ang mga players ng Alaska conceding this game with only 23 seconds remaining. And I think that's a wise move. Parang ano yan eh. 
Magkatalo talo na talaga. And right now, Alaska is in complete control. And they're only 23.6 seconds away from their 12th title. Or rather, 8th title. This is the 8th title for Alaska. Sixth in the last 8 finals. That's right. And they have made it actually to 11 of the last 12 finals here in the PBA. And what a dynasty Coach Kim Cohn has established here for Alaska. today, this is a very young team. A lot of years still to play. Lastimosa, the oldest, only at 34. And he's getting better as he grows older. Talaga. And they continue to add on. You know, one thing about San Miguel Beer, nothing to be ashamed of. Who would have thought that San Miguel Beer would have even reached a Game 7 in the finals? But again, you have to, I guess, feel the pain of San Miguel. Deja vu from 1995. They were up 3-2 in that series, and they lose the championship in seven games as Alaska comes down to the final second. And Alaska is the team of the 90s as they win their eighth title and the 1998 McDonald's PBA All Filipino title. Nelson Asaitona there. And they continue to party here, Kinito, and they truly deserve this title. Oh, I think so. They play their heart out, and of course, Johnny Abarientos delivering the goods. He was supposed to do that. Nelson Azaitona was supposed to do that for uh, San Miguel Beer, but it was Abarientos who got the job done. Botswinho, a big player today. Noy, together with, of course, Bong Hawkins. Wino scored a total of 17 points today. Tim Cohn, the Centennial Dream Team coach, truly proving why he is one of the best, if not the best, here in the PBA. His eighth title, only one short of becoming only the second winningest coach in PBA history. No, if you were to put your finger on one factor that brought Alaska to this championship, what would that factor be? You know, I think it's just their experience. You know, they, they were with their back against the walls two games in a row. They had to win both games. Uh, you know, they never panic. They've been in this situation so many times that they're so confident with themselves, and they have so many weapons on the team. You just can't focus on one person. They can come at you at every spot on the floor. A poignant moment then. Nakita natin si Daniel Defonso wiping some tears, but the celebration continues on the floor.